This type of door is called French door. You might also call it double door or side by side door. The difference between them is in their material. A French door is made of glass and the double door is made of wood. Let's see how we are going to model a family for this arced French door. Start with creating a new family in door category. Press UN and change the unit to meters and put rounding on two decimal places. Then I'm going to delete this frame and this one because well we don't need that type of frames. Then we are going to go to 3D view. In here if you hover your mouse over this part you can see the opening cut. Select it and in here go to its edit sketch. Then we are going to go to interior view to see it better. I'm going to delete this line and instead of that I want to create an arc like this. But if I click on finish now, the height in this part and the overall height are not going to be the same. So I need to lock this line with this part. But since we don't have any point in here, we can't do it. So I'm going to move this line to here and then I will align this line with this point and lock it. Then I need to create another arc, half of an arc in this part and then move it to this part and then lock and align it with this line now you can hit finish then if you go back to 3d view you will have an opening like this then we are going to create the fray so we need to go to interior view again and then create a new extrusion i'm going to use this pick line and i will click on these lines and lock them and after that, I need to create an offset. I'm going to create an offset of 3 cm for all of these parts. Then we need to zoom in and close the loop like this. Okay, let's go to ref level and align it with these two reference plans. I'm going to align this part with this one and the other side with here. Now if we change the wall, the thickness of the wall, for example, to this one, the length of this frame will change automatically. If you want to control the material of this frame, you need to select it and create a parameter in this part. I'm going to create a new one. Let's simply call it metal. I'm going to change it to shaded. And then let me just change the color of this wall to gray real quick okay so this is our frame for the main panel instead of modeling it in this part i'm going to create a new family in generic model let's turn on this tab coloring and go to the front view in here first i need to create a reference plan in this part and another one in here so since we have a double side door, I'm going to create it only in this part. Go to create and create a new extrusion. I will create a rectangle first so I can lock it with all of these reference plans. And then I'm going to create a center and arced like this from this point to here. And then I'm going to move it down and align it with this line. For the frame around it, I'm going to use peak line and offset of like three centimeter. And I'm going to create an offset in these parts. Then trim these two lines together. And then if you want to create a parameter for controlling this dimension, you can create one in this part another one in here and another one in this part then select them all and create a new parameter let's call it panel offset now hit finish for the height and length of this door i'm going to create a dimension in this part and another one in here this one is going to be the panel width and the other one is going to be panel height 
for its thickness we need to go to ref level in here i'm going to create two other reference plans one in this side and another one in this side and then i'm going to make them equal with this center line and create another dimension for its parameter this is going to be the panel thickness then we need to align this line with this part lock it and this reference line with this side let's make it a little bit smaller like this and then we can go to the 3d view this is the frame of our panel so i'm going to change it to shaded select it and create a new parameter for its material which is going to be a metal for its glass inside it i'm going to go to front view and in here we need to create another extrusion use this pick line and click on all of these lines and don't forget to lock them if you can okay now while it's selected i'm going to create a parameter for its material let's call it glass okay and then we need to go to the ref level in here we need to set its thickness inside this frame so i'm going to create another reference plan with another color let's go with red change its color and also if you want you can change its width or line pattern i'm going to use this aligning line okay now i'm going to draw one in this part and another one in here then we need to make them equal with the center line and another one for its thickness so you can either give it a value like 2 1 or any number that you want for its thickness or turn it into a parameter i'm going to create a parameter for it let's call it glass thickness and let's make it a little bit smaller and then we need to align this part with this glass and this reference line with this part and lock it if you go to this family type in here you can change their material i'm going to create new material for its glass from this part we need to select the material and let's go with this one for now go to graphic check this use render appearance and if you want to change the transparency you can change it from this part okay and for this part for the metal let's create another material and for this one we need to go to metal category i'm going to select this one go to graphic check this box and then if you want to make it a little bit darker you can do it like this okay okay and okay now i want to add a little bit design a little bit frame inside this door so let's go to front view and in here i'm going to create another extrusion use pick line and offset of 10 centimeter i'm going to create one in here another one in this part and one in here then i'm going to create two lines one in here and another one in this part the distance between this line and this reference line i think we can go with 40 centimeter and the other one this one i think we can go with 90. then i'm going to use pick line again and this time i'm going to create offset of three centimeter in this side about this line and this line and here and another one in this part then i am going to close these lines with a line in here another one in this part and one in here we need two other lines in these two parts and before trimming i'm going to create splits in these parts and also in here and then we can trim all of these lines together 
Then for this part, before closing it, I'm going to create a rectangle, very small rectangle in here. Then I'm going to delete this line and these two arcs. And then I'm going to use this start and radius for creating another arc like this in here. This is just to be sure we fix this frame inside this panel. Create a dimension from this point. If you hit tab, you can find that point and lock it. Then I'm going to lock this part too. And also another one for here. Then from this point to here i'm going to create another one and another one from this part to this reference line again if you want you can change these sizes to whatever number that is good for you now we can hit finish go to ref level and again we need to create some other reference plans i'm going to create one in this part and another one in here then we need to equal the distance between them like this and another one for its thickness so i'm going to select this one and turn it into a parameter let's call it frame thickness after that we need to align this reference plan with this part and this one with here now for its material i'm going to select it and assign the same metal for this part too let's go to 3d view to see how it looks before checking the parameters i'm going to go to the extrusion of this frame and in the front view we might need to create a parameter for the thickness of these parts too okay then select them all and turn them into a parameter let's just call it a we are not going to change it i'm going to also create another dimension for this part and then we can hit finish now let's go to 3d view to see if they are all working correctly go to family type and in here i'm going to change the panel height to 2.3 okay the width so I'm going to go with 80 cm perfect the panel thickness let's go with 12 cm perfect and the panel offset to 4 cm perfect and this size the A to let's go with 5 okay you might need to create a dimension for these two parts too and assign this a parameter for them go back to three centimeter and the frame thickness i'm going to go with like four centimeter okay and the glass thickness to three centimeter everything is working correctly now let's load it into the project into the door family i'm going to put it in this part for now in here i need to align this center line with this part since this is a double door and also we need to align its center with the center of this wall then i'm going to mirror it for the other side and after that i'm going to align it with these lines again perfect now if you go to 3d view we will have a door like this but if you look closely you can see that the parameters in two different families are not the same to make them equal to make them exactly like each other and work together we need to select this panel and go to its edit type in here for the panel height we need to create another parameter I'm going to go with panel height again we just need to create and move all of these to this new family I'm going to go with the same name for them and also we need to create parameter for their material 
I'm going to create new one for this glass but for the metal I'm going to select this metal for the frame that we created before okay now if you go to this family type in here you can see that again the number in this panel height is not equal to this number this is because we have a three centimeter offset for this frame in this part so we need to create a formula for this part too so in front of panel height i'm going to write height minus three centimeter and then in front of width since the width in this part since the width of the panel is divided by two in front of the panel width i'm going to open a parenthesis and then write width divided by two close the parenthesis and after that minus three centimeter okay and then apply now you can see that they are exactly where they needed to be last thing we need for this door family is a handle i'm going to create it in another family in generic model so we can load it to this one later we need to first set the unit on metres and then let's go to front view in here i'm going to create two reference plans and i will make the distance between them equal another one for this part then i will create two extrusion with circle in this part and another one in here select them and check the center mark visible for both of them then we need to align these two circles with these two reference plans for controlling their size, for controlling their radius, you need to create a dimension for this part. If you click on here, you will have a dimension and then you can select it and turn it into a parameter. Let's go with R1 and repeat it for this one too. Let's just make them a little bit smaller, maybe only one centimeter. This is also too much. Then you can hit finish. Now for its extrusion, I'm going to create another parameter. Let's call it D for distance. And let's set it on like 5 or 8 cm for now. Okay, now if we look at them from this 3D view, we will have something like this. Let's go to ref level. And in here, we need to create another reference plan. I'm going to draw one in here. And after that, we need to create extrusion with this circle in this part. Select it and create a parameter for its radius 2. Let's call it R2. You don't need to do all of these. This is for just being able to control the handle. In the project you can just simply create a fixed handle and load it into your project then I'm going to create a dimension from this part to here and I will assign the same D permit for this one too for the size of the second circle I'm going to go with two centimeter okay and now we can go to front view again in here I'm going to move it to these two parts and then create two other reference plans in these two parts I'm going to fix these two parts on five centimeter of this reference plan so i can have kind of extra part in the handle in top part and the base part and then lock them after that we need to align these two parts with these reference lines and now if we go to 3d view again we will have something like this join these two parts together and then create a parameter for their material let's go with the same metal again if you want you can create another material too now if we want to check it 
I'm going to change this height to like 50 centimeter. Okay. The distance between them to 5 centimeter. Perfect. And the radius to 5 millimeter. And also the second radius to 1 centimeter. Perfect. Now we can load it into the door family, the first one. And let's just put it in here. To fix this handle to this door, I'm going to create two reference plans, one in here and another one to this part. Then I'm going to create a dimension for it. Select it and let's call it simply handle. Okay. We need to write a formula for this part. The distance between this line, this central reference line and this handle should be half of the thickness of this panel. So in the formula section for this handle, we are going to write panel thickness. I'm going to copy and paste it to here, divide it to two. So if we have eight centimeter panel thickness the handle the distance between this part and here should be four centimeter now we can just simply align this reference plan with this part and lock it now if we change the panel thickness to like for example nine centimeter they will move together perfectly we need another reference plan for this part and I'm going to also fix it with this central reference plan. I am going to set it on 25 and then align it with this handle. Before we repeat these parts for the other side, we need to go to interior view and move it up to here i'm going to create another reference plan for this part i'm going to create a dimension for this part too let's say the distance in here is 80 centimeter maybe 70 okay and then i'm going to align this reference plan with the central reference of this handle okay now if we go to 3d view we will have something like this also the distance the d parameter is a little bit too much so i'm going to change d to like three centimeter okay let's go to ref level and mirror it for the other side again we need to align it with this part and we need another reference plan for this part too i'm going to create a dimension and set it exactly on 25 millimeter and then lock it with this reference plan for the other side i am going to create a dimension for this part to here and then I'm going to select the same parameter this handle now I am going to mirror these with a little bit more distance and then I'm going to align this line with these two reference plans also I'm going to lock them with these two lines too let's go to interior side and lock this one with this line and also we need to repeat it in exterior side too for both of them perfect let's check it in a new project i'm going to just simply draw a wall in here and let's go to this 3d view and then load the family this one to the project in 3d view i'm going to put it in here for the last time i'm going to change the height to 2.3 and also the width to 1.5 for example perfect everything is working so yes that's it if you want to master family creation parametric family creation you can watch this playlist in here 
I hope it was helpful for you and I will see you in the next video. Bye!